What up everybody, Carlton here with Minority Gamer Report, and here it is, the PlayStation 5. I finally got it after having to wait a day. Uh, I pre-ordered it, and they didn't give it to me on the release day. Um, I don't know if it was an issue with Best Buy or an issue with UPS or whatever, but I got it a day after. Um, so, at least I got it now, it's whatever. Um, but yeah, I am very excited for this um i am yeah uh so i'm just gonna go ahead and get right into it i'm just gonna unbox this thing so we got the box here and this thing is huge um yeah it's really big it, it's yeah it's got a good weight to it it's not too heavy but uh yeah it's big i heard this console is big too so that makes sense uh, but yeah, let's go ahead and get this seal off. Or I, I guess uh, first I guess I can show you kind of what's on the back of it. Kind of weird, usually on these uh, things they show all the games um, that are coming out. Uh, but this just shows the console and the controller. Uh, but yeah, go ahead and break the seal here lazy to use a knife so I'm just gonna peel this off and do some box damage I don't really care okay uh, and then we have the other box down here just gonna put this this guy away yeah and on this side it has a cool little PlayStation symbol nice and clean Go ahead and open this up. <laughs> I like how over here they have instructions. Like you don't, I'm not sure if you can see this, but uh, they have instructions here. <laughs> like you don't know how to open a box or something. Okay, actually, you know what? Maybe I should read it. Maybe I'm gonna do something wrong if I don't read it. Um, yeah, basically just tell you to take this out. That's easy. Okay. So on top here, looks like we have the um, instruction booklets, quick start guide, safety guide, make sure you guys can see this. Um, yeah, so we got the quick start guide, got the safety guide, put these away for now. Uh, we got the power cable. And here is the controller. I already ordered one of these, so I have two. Um, I did not do an unboxing video for that because I was too much in a hurry to see how it feels. But this controller feels awesome in your hands. Like I said, I, I have another one and I tried it and, and this thing feels really good. Really good weight to it. Um, the triggers feel really good. I, I haven't tried it on any games yet because I, of course, just got the console. Um, but yeah cool controller feels really good um, the ergonomics are really good um, I'm impressed by this so far I'm sure you've heard a lot of other youtubers say that but uh yeah believe the hype I guess uh, let's see if there's anything else in here we got a charging USB cable for the controller um, anything else in here oh what is this oh this is the I think this is the stand for the PlayStation 5. Yep, this is the stand. I think. Uh, we'll put it on later. And here's a HDMI cable. Cool. Sweet. All right, I think that's all for the top box. Let's throw that over there. Now let's dig in a little deeper. Let's get the console out itself. That's what we're all here for, right guys? The console itself. All right. Actually, you know what? The instructions, see, I almost ignored the instructions. The instructions said to pull it out this way, so I'm gonna do it that way.
This thing's not that heavy. It is stuck in there really good though. Alright. Let's get this box all the way. Goodbye box. Okay. This thing is huge. <laughs> there it is, guys. There it is, the PlayStation 5. Move this forward a little bit. There, there she is. In the flesh, or plastic, or silicon, or whatever. Looks like a more like an art sculpture than a console. little logo there. I got the disk drive version because I want to play uh, 4K Blu-rays. Let's look at the back here. We got all our typical cable slots. A lot of vents on this thing. Hopefully it means it doesn't overheat anytime soon. Um, and then we got one USB cable there. What is this for? And it's USB type C, I don't even know. Um, okay, cool. So yeah, uh, this is a beautiful console. Let's see what it looks like on the side. Oh, got some dust on it already. I think this is how you're supposed to, you know, I don't even know. I, I think you're supposed to put it this way. Put it on its side. No, maybe not. It seems kind of wobbly on that side. Honestly, I don't even know what I'm doing. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm just gonna have it, I'm probably just gonna have it vertically anyway, uh, just because of how my space is set up. Yeah, this is a, very attractive looking machine in my opinion. A lot of people saying that it looks ugly. Uh, I gotta disagree. I like it. It, it just looks kind of like some crazy <laughs> modern art sculpture, which, which I like. Uh, I do want to correct something I said earlier. Uh, when you lay the console on its side, you're supposed to use, you're supposed to use the stand both vertically and horizontally. So I had it on there the right way, but you're supposed to put this on the stand. Um, I'll, I'll figure out how to do that later. I, I just kind of want to play this thing, honestly. <laughs> um, but yeah, so you're supposed to, I, I guess, put this on the stand. I was looking at the back of the box. The back of the box, they show, uh, um, the back of the box, they show it on the stand on its side. Um, so I guess it goes here. This probably attaches to the back or something like that. Has these kind of cushions for it. Um, yeah, I'll figure it out. I'm probably not gonna lay it on its side. Like I said, I don't think I have the space. Um, I might, if I take my PS4 out, I'll probably have more space. Uh, but for now, I'm just gonna put it uh, vertically. So when all was said and done, I actually did end up setting this thing up vertically, or sorry, hor horizontally, <laughs> as you can see in this picture here. Um, yeah, it actually, you know, surprisingly is growing on me, laying horizontally. I thought that I wouldn't like it, but, um, I kind of dig it, so that's how it's going to lay for now. Um, and just so you guys can see, I have this next to my PlayStation 4 Pro, so you can kind of see the size comparison. Like I said before, this thing is gigantic, and that's what she said. <laughs> no, okay, anyway. Um, but yeah, uh, I'm very excited to play this system. Maybe I'll put up some gameplay of some of the games I, I have started. Uh, since originally recording this first bit, um, I have played some Miles Morales, um, some of the Astro Bot game. I'm really loving both of those so far. Um, digging this, the backwards compatibility has been working fine so far. Um, but yeah, guys, uh, hopefully some more to come on this. Uh, thanks for watching and keep it here at Minority Gamer Report. Peace. Thank you.